Day, a jury found Kansas City mother Jacole Prince guilty of child abuse for repeatedly locking her 10 year old daughter in a closet. Well, now the jury must decide what kind of punishment it recommends. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield spent the day in the courtroom. And Ariel, you just told us that Prince got kicked out of the courtroom? That's absolutely right, Mike. We just heard from Jacole's daughter, known in court as LP, and her foster mom. While her foster mom was testifying, Jacole shouted out, I'm a good mother to my daughter. You don't know me. Tell her to quit lying. That's words you put in her mouth. Now the sentencing phase continues, but Jacole is no longer in the courtroom. Staring blankly ahead with tears in her eyes, Jacole Prince sat motionless with her defense team as she learned her fate. After just a few hours of deliberations, the jury found Prince guilty of child endangerment, first degree assault, and child abuse on day five of a trial where tensions ran high. Nobody wants to believe that a mother would treat her own child that way, but she did. No mother with a right mind would be able to do that or would do that. For nearly a week, the jury heard from psychologists, police officers, and Prince's own daughter, known as LP. She was 10 years old when found and weighed only 32 pounds. This innocent little girl was beaten. She was starved. She was locked in this maggot infested, urine filled, feces filled closet for days on end. Prince's defense argued her rationale for locking up her daughter and starving her was delusional. The mother was and had been mentally ill. The mother was not in the right mind, who was suffering her own trauma, who's been suffering from a mental disease all of her life, has a different view of reality. An explanation the jury did not buy. Now the jury will soon deliberate. They will come up with a, a verdict, a sentence that they believe is fair, which the judge can agree to, approve it, or amend. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.